Hi, I'm Nigel Griffiths. I work in the Advanced Technology Centre in the UK, part of IBM Europe. In this movie we're going to look at an AIX fix feature called JFS2 and mounting it with the No Log option and see the performance benefit we get from this. Hi, well we're logged on here to a Power6 and AIX6 machine and we're going to create two file systems called Red and Blue and we're going to use a script. We could use SMIT, SMITI or pconsole to create these but I thought we'd just run the commands as it's a little simpler and it's quicker. General file systems, same volume group, one gigabyte each, mount them if you reboot and internal snapshots. We always have to put this on when we actually create it so we might as well do it for everything we do from now on on our X6. So let's just run those two commands. There's the first one and there's the second one. Okay. Now I'm going to use two separate windows here to mount them. Uh, red up here we're going to mount with uh, log equals null and blue will mount down here just a regular mount so that's got the normal logging on. We actually change to the, the file system now. I'm going to use a little command I wrote a while back called nfile. This does a lot of creating and deleting of files. That's what puts the journal file system under a lot of pressure. And we're going to use this little program, we're going to time it in the current directory, so it's in this new file system, creating lots of 1K files, and it's going to run to do 4,000 file operations. So let's just run that now. And it's very quick. Okay, we can see there we have a 0.4 of a second to do 4,000 files. Now let's just run that over here. Same parameters and everything, and off it goes. As you can see, it's taking a little bit longer. We give it a couple of seconds. There we go. So it took 25, nearly 26 seconds compared to 0.4 of a second. I don't know what's that, 50, 60 times faster if we have logging switched off. And the same would happen in reverse if we then just tried to remove all these files. We created uh, a lot of files in this file system and uh, with lots of subfiles as well. Now, this is a very good technique when we're doing something that creates or removes a lot of files. Two particular things I can think of, if we're doing an FTP transfer onto this machine, all the files are on a different machine, we're going to quickly transfer perhaps a thousand, perhaps a million files. If we switch logging off while we do that, copy, FTP copy or however we want to do it, then we're actually going to save a significant amount of time not having the log. And we don't need the log in that case because we still have the original files on the other machine. So if something ghastly happens, we could just recreate that file system and, and redo the uh, copying over. Same if we're doing file system maintenance. Maybe we're moving a file system from one set of disks onto a new set of disks. We could create the new file system on the fast disks, switch off logging, copy the files, and then switch logging back on by doing an unmount and a remounting it with the logging back on.